What is going on everyone? My name is Ye. What's going on? What is going on? The question every Barca supporter, every Kule, should be asking themselves today. Just what the f*** is going on? Guys, my name is Diego. This is D-Spot, reporting for TYT Sports. And on today's episode, I would like to discuss with you the latest developments, or non-developments, I should say, about my club, Fútbol Club Barcelona. Also, later on in the show, I will be joined by a very special guest. This person is not only an excellent football analyst, but also a die-hard Real Madrid supporter. I invited this person onto the show to share with us the latest developments and insight on Ronaldo's situation, whether or not he will leave the club. And they will share with us not only their personal opinion, but exclusive information. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But first, like I said, just what the hell is going on over at the Camp Nou? This week will mark the end of June, meaning that one month has passed since we played our last game against Alaves in the Copa del Rey final. One month. That's four weeks of allowing rumors, the likes of Berratti Bellerin coming to the club, controversy, such as the imprisonment of our ex-president, Sandro Rousset, and the vote of no confidence against Bartomeu, and weddings filling up our newspapers instead of facts and truth. Oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> as well as the selling of our homegrown superstars and young talents of La Masilla, such as the likes of Jordi Mumbula. And you guys want me to come out and talk about which players fit best, whether Berratti fits the system, whether Bellerin is worth the money, whether Dembele, whether City, whether whatever, 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 whatever. I told you I'm not going to do that. I refuse to take part in this feeding frenzy of rumors. There's enough of that. I prefer to report on the facts and the truth as I know it. And the truth here is, ladies and gents, that the board of directors have only managed one truth, one fact, and that is to get us a new manager because Luis Enrique packed his bags and left because of exhaustion. Welcome Barberde. That's the only truth that stands today. All the rest is just pure speculation. Pure Prensa Rosa as far as I'm concerned. Tabloid shit. And by the way, has anybody heard of Valverde since the day that he was presented to us? Since the press conference? Huh? I mean, he best be doing his homework because he has a lot of catching up to do, a lot of preparing to do ahead of this crucial next season. And we don't want the gap to widen any further between us and Real Madrid, who have been doing their homework, but I'll get to that in a second. Let's go back to my point. In a season where our arch rivals have won all of the important trophies, all of the important silverware, have won not one, not two, but three of the possible four Champions League titles in the past four years, have put Ronaldo in a position to tie our Leo Messi for Ballon de Oros and secure their club's success for the next I don't know how many years by signing the likes of Isco, the likes of Asensio, Carvajal, Lucas Vázquez, Teo, etc. And our president, Giuseppe Bartomeu, comes out and claims that this was a successful season. So, now I'm tired of having to come out here and put such a negative light on my club, the club that I hold so dear, the club that I was born into as a member, as a socio, by my grandfather. May he rest in peace. However, that doesn't mean that I just simply need to sit here with my arms folded and just accept at everything that's going on or not going on. And what I see in front of my eyes is a club and gets a case of, 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 of butterfingers and let's slip this chance to continue to cement our place as one of the best football clubs in the entire world, in the entire history of football, and continue to capitalize on the sheer brilliance that is Leo Messi. I mean, give this man what he needs already. Give it to him so that we can remain to be a serious threat and both be admired and feared and envied across the entire footballing world. Berratti, Dembele, Bonucci, whatever, etc., whatever. Bring it to us. Give it. Give it to this guy and win us the trophies that we should be competing for year in, year out. We need a squad of starters. It's that simple. Starters. Not bench warmers, not mediocre, overpriced players. We need quality starters. Now, 
As much as I've enjoyed interviewing these Peña Madridistas, these great Madridista friends who have opened their arms and doors to me, and it's been great getting to know them on a personal level. However, the truth is, as a fan, I'm sick to death of it. I want to be out there interviewing our fans, Barca fans, and talk about our success. I want to be out there in the street feeling pumped about next season. I want to have that feeling of excitement and, 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 and security that we're going to have a jaw-droppingly good squad capable to compete week in and week out until the very last day of all of the competitions. <sighs> Anyways, guys, look, the good news is, is that there's still two months left, so hopefully things will start to pick up right now in the beginning of July. But anyways, amigos... It is now time to introduce to you my mystery guests. Who will it be? What will we talk about? Ronaldo, I already told you, pay attention. Moving on to other news, which should bring a smirk or at least a smile to any pule such as myself. I have requested a very special person to join me in the Ronaldo conversation today. Um, she is a very knowledgeable football analyst. She used to work for ESPN Deportes is currently working for Diario As USA and has a show called El Pelotazo coming up in August. She's also a social media influencer and of course passionate Real Madrid supporter who coincidentally I should say on a personal note is the only person that I know of who makes a Real Madrid jersey look good. Please, I'd like to welcome to the show the beautiful Jenny Lizarazo. Hola Jenny, ¿qué tal? Thank How are you? you? Thank you very much. Thank you for having me today. It's a pleasure Jenny. It's really cool to have you here and uh, be able to, to have this one-on-one -on -one with you. And just to just to get right in the mix of things and bring you up to speed, I just had a good five, six minute rant about how dark the times are looking for Football Club Barcelona, unfortunately for Kules like me. And I was hoping- Definitely. Uh, definitely, definitely. And I was hoping that you being the both uh, Real Madrid supporter, but more importantly, uh, a reporter, uh, I was hoping that you could maybe shed some light and maybe darnos una pequeña alegría, give us a little bit of happiness to the Pules and just talk about how bad the Ronaldo situation really is today. Florentino openly admitted that indeed Ronaldo is pissed off basically. Uh, he is upset and so I wanted to know from you if Ronaldo is to stay this summer, how do you see this relationship uh, continue? Bueno, first, I want to give you my condolences for this past season. I'm still enjoying myself with the two titles, La Liga and the Champions League. <laughs> and right now, I'm, I think I'm, I'm really uh, sad for you because I'm going to give you bad news. Cristiano okay. Ronaldo, on my opinion, he's going to stay in Real Madrid. Okay. Just because he's the best player in the world, he still has a contract with us until 2021. And as Florentino says, like in my uh, uh, video report for Diario As. Uh, he's wanted, he's needed at Real Madrid. And the situation right now in Spain is complicated because um, the press is giving him a headache, saying that he is like Messi, comparing him to Messi. And I personally think it's really unfair because the situation are different in, in, in certain points. They, they're treating him like, like a delinquent and it's not fair. I, mean, I think it's normal as a human being, you feel uncomfortable, you don't yeah. want to talk to the media. People are saying, oh, what is your Ronaldo is not talking to the media. He should say, I'm going to stay at love Real Madrid. But I, I really don't think uh, he's leaving Real Madrid. Okay, Jenny, but, but I have to uh, jump in there a little bit and, and just give you a, a counter perspective from somebody who's been, uh, you know, I've been following the, 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 the Spanish press uh, for a good 20 years. I live in Spain. And from my point of view, being critical does not necessarily mean that you are against the player or against the club. I know that Florentino Pérez likes to come out and say, everybody hates Madrid, even the Prensa in Madrid is against Madrid. But I mean, asking critical questions when there seems to be clear evidence that things have been dealt with in a dodgy manner does not mean necessarily that you are against the player or the club. And, and that's why what, what I find so, so peculiar in this case is Ronaldo saying... But he saying, never said he's in a liberal Madrid, he just says, that, I that want to leave upset. Spain because they, they think like, okay, I think I already paid my taxes. They're accusing me um, that I, I didn't pay for 14 point 
a hungry yeah, medium. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he think he didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. So if he wants to leave, like, as I said in my, my video report, the Ario As, Cristiano, or you put the, the Chris Real Madrid jersey or you retire. So, so what do you make of the reports uh, that are being leaked by people close to Ronaldo that are saying that actually what is really upsetting him is that, that he doesn't feel the, 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 the love from the fans and the club. He doesn't feel the support enough. What do you make of that? Is there any truth behind that? Of course, because when you compare Messi, um, the way they treat Messi on the press is like, Everybody loves Messi. Oh, we all with Messi. It, 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 when it, the same happens yeah. to him, the press hasn't been fair with him. Mm. And to be honest with you, mm. I think what he's doing is he said, "Okay, they're talking bad things about me. They don't deserve me to mm. to say, to give some explanation, especially the the press from Spain." Okay, so so just to, to my final question, because unfortunately I would love to talk to you about this for. 24 hours, but I have very little time. So just for, for a final question, uh, and I'm going to ask if you could take off your Madrid shirt, um, figuratively speaking. Not, no, not I can't take anything not, off. Not, not hey. <laughs> not figuratively speaking, just leave, leave the Madrid shirt to the side and, and, and answer this question as, as a reporter, as kind of a, a neutral reporter, let's say. And let's speculate in the case that, that the unthinkable happens and Ronaldo does say, no, look, I, I've had enough. I'm not coming back to Real Madrid, I want to move on. How will Real Madrid cope with the loss of their biggest star and their best player? How, how will they go about doing such a thing? I think it will be difficult, but for a team like Real Madrid, it's not impossible because we have a lot of talent. We have Isco, we have Asensio, we have Modri, we have Casimiro, we have a lot of players, so Real Madrid is gonna keep going with or without him, I don't think personally, I would say it again, I don't think this is gonna happen, but if that happens, uh, it will be hard, but I don't think it will be impossible. Mbappé, will he come in that case? I don't think so. No? I don't think so. I think personally, with the, with the sources that I have, I've been hearing that they're talking with his family. Yeah. Um, Sidan is been following this player for so long. He's a young kid, he's 18 years old, and I think the most smart thing to do will be um, buy him or have a, some kind of deal right now with him for the next season. Mm -hmm. Why? Because if he continues playing in Monaco and he's gonna blow up, the price is gonna go up. And as a business-wise, I think this is the moment to to buy this player. They're working on it. They're really definitely working on it because he's an amazing player and yes. his future there. He showed this year just the, what an incredible talent he is. He's, uh, he's been a big Madrid fan for many years, so it's I, I cannot see him anywhere else. Uh, Plus, he's so. been doing winkies all the time through the social media. He's been winking a lot to Real Madrid fans lately. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you're loving those winks and would love to see him. In, in <laughs> what about you guys? I don't see Messi resigning this year. He, I, he will resign, I'm sure of it. I, I think... I think <laughs> when? You know, when? I think it will be, uh, he's getting married, I think it will be una, un regalo uh -huh. de boda, so like a, a present for his wedding, but uh, I, I have How no doubt that he will stay. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, Jenny, um, I'm going to have to end it here, unfortunately. I really want to thank you again for your time. Um, please let our audience know where they can follow you on social media. Uh, what is your Twitter and, and Instagram handle? Yeah, my, my, all, all my social media is the same. My social media is Jenny Sarazo. And stay tuned because I have a sports show, TV sports show coming up. So I'll let you know. We will stay tuned for that. Again, <laughs> Jenny, thank you so much. It was really a pleasure talking to you. And uh, for all of you guys, make sure you join us on the next episode as well for a lot more Barça, La Liga, Spanish football talk. <laughs> Good luck uh, with that. <laughs> uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video, of course, with all your friends and family. And uh, that's it, guys. From Diego here, D-Spot and TYT Sports. Hasta la próxima. Ciao.